Hello, I'm Max, and my mission is to present a documentary to you about tic disorders and how they affect the family and the patients who have them, and to blow all stereotypes out of the window. I'm currently en route to go see Alec, who's had Tourette for quite some time. Um, he's got a job um, full time at the Swan Inn in Limston, and uh, I'm just going to ask him a few questions, see how he copes with everything. I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. Um, it would have been June 2012 now. I was only given support when it got a lot worse because at first it was quite mild and then it declined pretty rapidly. Um, and then the support I was given once it got really bad was extremely useful. So I had to have a bit of reversal therapy, <coughs> which was about nine months worth of therapy, every, like a session every week. At the moment, not too much because I'm usually at work and I can usually keep them under control at work. They only really affect me when I get home and when I'm relaxing. If I'm busy at work, then sort of using the therapy, keep it all suppressed. As soon as I get home, I'm relaxing and everything, it, just, it can flare up. I was for a long time, I was fine, <laughs> and now I get really embarrassed and self-conscious and like weird about it, unless I'm around somebody else with Tourette's, in which case it's, well, it's totally different than a kettle of fish, but <clears throat> when I, if I'm here ticking, sort of, if I'm behind the bar at work or something, I just find it almost humiliating, and I have to t almost have to remove myself from the situation and everything. Anything in my subconscious could, could be a tick, uh, from like muscle jerks Help. to whole entire phrases and so on. Um, they can, they, they vary in severity. At, at one point before I had the therapy, they were severe enough to, I'd, I'd have sort of four to five minute long fit episodes and things like that, um, which since the therapy hasn't happened, but <coughs> regarding, I mean nowadays, nowadays it can get bad enough that I'm not able to like, not able to stay in bed and so on with my partner and whatever and having to get up and I can be awake till sort of four or five o'clock in the morning mm. waiting for it to subside. I think firstly get a, an affirmative diagnosis. The biggest advice I can give is insist that you be referred to somebody to a specialist. I'm now going to see Sasha who has conversion disorder which is quite similar to Tourette's. Um, she's been suffering with it for the past year. Um, Ask her a few questions, see how she copes with her tick disorder. Ow, my head tick. <laughs> the middle finger and a whistle tick. Um, I only feel them coming on sometimes. Uh, most of the time I can feel them when I'm actually doing them. And after, well, depends on whether I felt them when I did them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, I... My school life has changed a lot. I don't go to school, I go to 
special class now and there's a lot of times when I don't actually do work in there and I just sit around <laughs> I get quite frustrated with myself um, because I know no one likes it they don't they feel they can't tell me off and then they feel bad if they do tell me off the only ways I can control them is by listening to music and I've recently realised that going into deep thought kind of makes my takes go but it's not a very good idea sometimes um, when I'm very anxious and uh, for example when like there's arguments in the house, or I see people that I really don't like. <laughs> um, there's a lot more cleaning up to do. Um, and family can't really handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a lot of cleaning up to do? Because I'm always chucking things around and chucking my feet at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore everyone that tries to pick on you for it.